Hello everybody, I am here with a collaboration video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I'm super excited. I am doing this with Kelly Schaffner. If you don't know Kelly, I will link her YouTube channel down below. I actually just discovered her recently, I think just from some friends or some other people in the reselling community, and I love her channel. She's super positive and upbeat, and she finds really good stuff, especially good shoes, and I love selling shoes. So this was the perfect video for us to do together. We both decided to get a Thread Up Rescue shoe box. It is 15 pairs of shoes and we paid $80 each. Uh, my box came really soon and hers took a little bit longer. So she lives down in New Mexico and I'm here in Iowa. So it will be interesting to see what boxes we get. My box is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So I wonder where hers is gonna be from. We will see. I do encourage you to watch this video and then head on over to her video. I will have the link right down below so that you can do that and then comment on both of our videos of who you think got the better box or which box do you think was better. These are always super fun to do. Sometimes I just do these uh, myself. I will order two of the same boxes and open them both at the same time. Although I haven't done that for a while because um, for a little bit there I was spending just a little bit too much money on Thread Up. But luckily I've been selling pretty well on there lately so I've been having some good credit to get lots of rescue boxes. If you are here from over on Kelly's channel, welcome and thank you so much for coming to my channel. I am continuing to grow. I am a full-time reseller. I go by the Canary Closet and all of my platforms. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, throw it out the real, real Facebook marketplace everywhere. I have also heard that I talk fast, so sorry. I tried to slow down. I encourage you to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell. I do what sold videos every Friday. I do thread up unboxings every Sunday and sometimes more mixed in. And I also do thrift hauls. So lots of reseller content on this channel. Okay, here we go. Just like I thought, we have 15 pairs of shoes for $80. So let's get into this. I actually opened a box earlier this week, but I haven't released that video yet. I think I'm going to put it out next week, but it was really good. And so I was like, ah, oh, I wish that was the box that I was opening for that video, but I had already planned that just as like a random one to put out. And I didn't say anything about Kelly or anything like that. So I'm like, you know what? This is going to be the box that I'm doing with her because that's when I ordered it. Here's a top look. Sometimes they had the shoes rubber banded together, which is nice. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. I see a few pair of sandals. These are Ann Taylor. A pair of Ann Taylor sandals. And they're like a snakeskin reptile slide. I don't know if this is real leather. Let's see. Yes, it is a leather upper and it's a size six and a half. Um, these are super cute and they're really nice. Ann Taylor retails for a lot. Unfortunately, the clothing doesn't sell that great for me. So we will see about the shoes, but I think definitely with the time of year that I will be able to sell these. I just ordered some more shoe forms from Amazon. They're like a little curvy clear thing, which will be good because that doesn't look as good as like this. So I got some of those. I had some before, but they broke. Luckily they're super cheap. Okay, that's my first pair. Here are some more sandals. And these are another pretty good brand. They are J. Crew. J. Crew sandals. These are a flat with a tassel, fun little tassel, and like big lace up. So, oh, here it goes through like this. So they lace up like that. So that could be good for summer. I'll probably put like festival in with the keywords. Let me see about these ones. These are also a leather upper made in Brazil and they are a size seven. Just like the clothes, J. Crew always has the style number on the shoes. So I can super easy look up what they're called and then I can look up comps. I know I made a TikTok recently about, I don't even know what it was about. Something and this girl said, Mine might sell better, but I just never look up comps. And even like I've been reselling for years, I still look up comps a lot. Or I use like eBay and Poshmark's like, um, they put like a estimated selling price when you're listing. I'll check those out because what happens is if you price your items too high, they're gonna take forever to sell most of the time. Or, you know, you'll have to eventually lower them. So I'm not saying you can't price your items high, just depends on your business model. Do you want to move things quickly or not? Also, like, what's it actually worth? Not what do you think it's worth? Okay, these are interesting. This is like a sock sneaker, gray. There's nothing on the bottom, so I don't know if that should be worrisome. 
Okay, there's Steve Madden. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Steve Madden is a decent brand, but I feel like I only pick up like their leather boots. Those seem to do pretty well for me. And what sucks about these is I don't see a size anywhere. So I'm gonna have to measure them or like have like my daughter maybe try them on or something. I mean, it could possibly be down there somewhere, but that's really hard to get into. I do think though the style is pretty cool and cute, but like I said, if it's not a leather boot, Steve Madden doesn't sell that good for me. I will not be able to send these back to thread up if I can't find a size. Oh, I thought I saw something in the bottom, but it's not. And it says MD or something, like way up there. I can't tell what that is. So sometimes I'll send things back to thread up because I end up making more money on there than I could myself, or I don't have to do any work and I can make around the same amount of money, or something I just don't really want to list. <laughs> All kinds of reasons I will send things to thread up. So. These ones I won't be able to. I'll clean them up and sell them myself. Hopefully I can still get like 20 bucks out of them. We'll see. This is one of my favorite um, running shoe brands that I like to sell. And it is the brand Brooks. I just sold a pair of Brooks recently. And I don't know. I listed them for 50 and I think I sold them for around 40. These are Brooks Launch 4. So they're like a neon orange and purple running shoe and they are in pretty good condition as far as running shoes goes. What I look for uh, for running shoes is like the thread on the bottom. So you can see that this isn't worn down at all, hardly anywhere. The toe looks really good, which is another area I look for. And then I look inside here to see if that's worn off and that looks pretty good too. But you know what is worn off? The size. So. Is that the reason maybe ThreadUp didn't take them? This one though, it's not at all. That's weird. This one's like very clear. So they're a size nine and a half. Those are super nice. If you guys see anything ever in my videos that you like, you can message me on Instagram or you can email me and hopefully we can work out a deal off platform. Saves me on fees, gets you an item for a cheaper price usually than I would list it on eBay and Poshmark. This is a pair of suede mid-calf heeled boots. They are a dark gray. They have a YKK zipper, which usually is a good sign. There's nothing in the bottom, but they do look to be in nice condition. So let's see what they are. There's a nine and a half and a style number. Oh, and the brand is Gabriella Rocha. Roca? <laughs> I'm dumb. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. Roca, probably. Can you guys see that? Do you guys know anything about this brand? Gabriela Roca. It says they're made in Mexico and it's an upper leather size nine and a half. So I have no idea. Let me know if you've had experience selling this before and how it did for you. I definitely will be looking up comps and then I will decide if I want to sell them myself or if I want to send them back into ThreadUp. Boots should be starting to sell pretty good here in the next couple of months as people are starting to think about shopping for fall as depressing as that is because I love summer summer's my favorite um they're like a little bit like scuffed but I feel like I can use a suede brush so no like obvious signs of wear okay next I just sent a pair of these into thread up actually for the first time and I was able to price them a little over a hundred dollars but I don't know how they'll do so these are Joseph Siebel Seibel, how do you say that? This is a European comfort shoe, it says, and they are a size 38, so probably like a women's eight. They're a brown leather, like heeled clog. So they have a buckle there too. I don't know if I will sell these myself or not. I actually didn't even look up comps on the other pair that I sent in, they were red. I just knew that they retailed for a pretty good amount and I would be able to price them high, so. What I could do possibly is just wait a little bit and see how the other ones are doing on ThreadUp as, and then see like if I wanna send the, these ones in too. Here's the bottom, really interesting, but they are in nice condition, like a little bit like worn in the leather, but nothing too bad. So there's those, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's what I meant to do. There's those. <laughs> There we go. I'm not going to cut that out because what's the point? Okay, this is something I'm not excited about, and I will show you why. 
Nothing can be as bad as my last thread up clothing box. Yikes. If you didn't watch that, I'll link that up here. If you need like some entertainment. I got something in there that I was like, I still don't know what it is. This is the brand Naturalizer. I don't really think this sells for that much. These are a size seven narrow. It is a leather upper. However, they're like a white little block heel, like sandal. Um, I don't know. The, this part, what is this stuff? It's coming up a little bit. I don't know if that makes any difference to people or if I try to send it back to the thread up, would that make a difference for them? Um, there is like a little scuff here in the back heel. So I don't know if they would take these and I don't know if they'd be worth me selling. I guess I could always just try to send it in to them, but ugh, I don't know. Not my favorite pair. This might be a donate. Okay, some more clogs by another brand I don't super love. Uh, Bisu Bisu, where is this even sold? I don't remember. These are brown, like suede, slip-on heeled clogs. They are a little bit worn, but I think, again, I could take a suede brush to those. These are a size six and a half. They are a leather upper. So I actually don't have any experience selling this brand. So I don't really know what to do with these. They could be good with fall coming up, but I'm not sure. So let me know your thoughts. What should I do with these? Okay, I see more running shoes and some more flats. Let's just get into this pair of flats. This is a Sperry Top Cider. I don't pick up Sperry anymore, except for I've had decent luck with like their duck boots. I almost thought I said decent duck. Decent luck with the duck boots. <laughs> These are a size seven. They are a leather upper. They're like a blue slip-on loafer with a little stacked heel. Um, I mean, they're not bad and they're cute. I just don't really sell Sperry. So I don't know if I want to sell them myself. I'll probably look up this style. Hopefully there's a number in here. It looks like there is. And see if I think it's worth it or not to go ahead and sell these myself. Otherwise, I might just try sending them back into thread up. When I first started reselling, the Sperry boat shoes were like great to pick up, but that didn't last very long. And now they suck to sell, at least for me. Okay, this is a good brand. If I can get them unwrapped. Cole Haan. This is a pair of pink loafers with a stacked heel like a penny loafer. Um, leather, they look to be a smaller size. Let's see, made in India. Size six, yeah. So they are a smaller size, but they are a cute style. I mean, like a good little business, like career shoe maybe. They're a little bit worn. You can kind of see like those parts and just a little bit of like leather, but nothing like horrible. I guess there's kind of some scuffs back there too. I'll probably list these myself, but I probably am not going to be able to get too much for them just because I just feel like they're a little bit too worn. Like if I saw these in the thrift store, I wouldn't pick them up. But so far, I guess out of the ones that I've gotten though, would I, would I pick up a thrift store? The Brooks. That's maybe it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess the maybe those boots, depending on comps, I don't think I, I don't know if I would pick up many of the other ones so far. So that's okay. I'm still gonna definitely make money on this box. It's just interesting to see what they send me. Okay, another pair of flats. These are black. And these, I don't see a brand. Oh, these are Clarks. Okay, I do sell Clarks sometimes. I feel like I've had good luck again with their boots, their leather boots. These are a leather upper, size nine wide. So that is great to have a wide shoe. I like carrying all kinds of sizes and widths. So that's really good. I know my husband has wider feet, so it's nice to have that instead of like the skinny ones. Um, just a basic black slip on round toe flat. It's cute. I should be able to sell these. I might send them back in the thread up. I don't know. Maybe it depends on what kind of shoes I'm finding here myself at my thrift stores and what I feel like selling. I have a little bit of room right now with all of my shoe racks to add some more in, but not a ton. Okay, let's get into, what would you guess these are if you just saw them? I feel like Steve Madden, because I feel like it's just like a style they would do. So let's see. 
I was right. I feel like after a while, you know things that you can spot. Another pair of black slip-on shoes. I am stupid. I keep dropping things. <laughs> they need to be cleaned up, but I can do that really easy. Um, let's see if these ones have a size easily visible. What's up with Steve Madden not having sizes? So oh, this one does. Size 10. Duray. D-A-R-A-Y. They're almost my size. I don't know if I'd wear these, though. They're not bad. They're like a mesh slip-on shoe. So, um, I don't know. If I sold them myself, I'd probably only get like 15 bucks for them. I know they retail high, so I might just try sending them back into thread up. Okay, three more pairs. There's tennis shoes, which are good. I just saw the brand. Flats and the heels. So let's save the tennis shoes for last. Okay, Bandolino. Again, another brand I wouldn't really get. These are red patent leather heels, a round toe, a little bit of like marks on the heel. Although I did get like pretty little things, heels in one of my boxes and I listed them for like 12 bucks and I think they sold for eight on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> it was pretty lame, but I probably at least made my money back for what the, whatever the cost of goods is for shoes in these box. And they were pretty scuffed up on the um, stiletto heel part. So, I mean, it could be worth listing. They're a size eight, man-made upper. So here's the other one. Looks like pretty much the same, a little bit of like wear down there in the bottom, heel. I'm just gonna put those back in here. Okay, we have these and then another pair of tennis shoes. These, I don't know. I almost wanna say Steve Madden again, but I'm not sure, but maybe not. Let's look at them. Oh, no. <laughs> Comfort view? Well, just as I thought, trash. What is comfort view? These are like, I feel like Kelly's not gonna say anything bad about her shoes that she gets because she's always so nice and I'm just like, this is ugly. <laughs> In my opinion, if you like them, sorry. I'm not, not trying to offend people. I just think, ugh. Uh, I think they're new maybe because they have like paper in there. They're a size. I don't know. They're called the Athletic Bungee Sneaker 12WW. What does that mean? Women's Wide? What do you guys think about these Comfort View? <laughs> no, I don't like them. I don't even know if I'm going to sell those. Ugh. Okay, last ones that are good. I promise. My last box that I opened, my last shoe box, I already started listing them. And I think I already made my money back on one pair, so... Guys, you're gonna have to watch out for that video. I'll probably put it out later this week. Hey, here's what we're talking about. Hoka, one, one. Some people say one, one. I don't know how you say it. Yellow, blue, striped. These are nice. The bottoms are pretty nice. I don't really see much signs of wear. I don't see any like dirty spots around. That's exciting. Are they my size? Oh no, eight, not even close. Huh. Eight, they're super light. I have a pair of this brand, a black pair, and I really like them. I would like to get more, but I don't want to pay for them. I don't even want to pay them for them used. I want to like find them at a thrift store. <laughs> like I have become that cheap. I don't even want to go like on Poshmark and eBay and buy something. Like I'm, if I need something, I'm like, no, we're going to find it in a thrift store. Like my son, he needs like a base layer for under his volleyball jersey. Oh yeah, Ryan's playing volleyball, by the way, coming up on my team that I'm coaching. Super excited. Now we have like the whole volleyball family. Anyway. Uh, I'm like, no, we're not going to buy one. I'll find it at the thrift store. Guess what? I did. He needed some more shorts. We went and found those at the thrift store. We found him a shirt for church at the thrift store. Like, I don't want to pay more than like eight bucks for anything anymore. <laughs> I've become cheap. Anyway, these are really nice. I definitely think these are my best pair in the box. So I'll really be excited to watch Kelly's video. Make sure, like I said, go over to her video now when this one's done and then come back to my video and vote down below which one you think was better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, consider subscribing and I will see you guys again soon with another video. Bye.